वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एन एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन नाइक्विस्ट क्राइटेरिया सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन अ यूनिटी फीडबैक सिस्टम हैज अ ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन विच इज गिवन एज जी ऑफ एस इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी ओवर एस प्लस वन एंड एस प्लस टू यूज नाइक्विस्ट क्राइटेरिया टू डिटरमाइन द सिस्टम स्टेबिलिटी इन द क्लोज लूप कॉन्फिग्रेशन so we need to follow all the five steps that we discussed in the previous lecture to plot a nyquist plot and then after we will check that our system is stable or not so let's begin step number 1 that is determination of transfer function so the transfer function is given as g of s equals to 50 over s plus 1 and s plus 2 moving on to step number 2 in which we have to put s equals to j omega so put s equals to j omega here we get g of j omega will be equals to 50 over j omega plus 1 and j omega plus 2 this is the value of g of j omega in the sinusoidal form after this we have to move on to step number 3 that is polar plot representation so firstly we have to draw a polar plot for this we have to calculate magnitude and phase angle first so let's calculate the magnitude magnitude that is represented by mod of g of j omega so mod of g of j omega will be equals to 50 over under the root this omega square plus 1 square that is 1 only then under the root omega square plus 2 square that is 4 so this is the value of magnitude after this we have to calculate the phase angle so step number 4 will be phase angle so the phase angle of g of j omega will be equals to tan inverse since here is no imaginary part that's why we have to write 0 and 50 is a real part that's why 50 will come in denominator after this we have to write phase angle for this expression so since it is in denominator that's why negative sign then tan inverse imaginary part is omega real part is 1 minus tan inverse imaginary part is omega real part is 2 only so the final expression for the phase angle will be since tan inverse 0 is nothing but 0 only that's why we neglect it after this minus of tan inverse of omega minus tan inverse of omega by 2 this is our phase angle so on the basis of the phase angle and the magnitude we have to form a table so this is the table this is the value of omega this is the mod of g omega that is nothing but magnitude this is phase angle 
दिस इज ओमेगा इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो देन ओमेगा इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट टू देन ओमेगा इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव आफ्टर दिस ओमेगा इक्वल्स टू वन देन ओमेगा इक्वल्स टू फाइव एंड फाइनली ओमेगा इक्वल्स टू इनफाइनेट आई हैड कैलकुलेटेड द वैल्यू ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड एंड द फेस एंगल प्रीवियसली सो आई कैन फिल इट क्विकली so this is the complete table formation after this on the basis of this table we have to plot our polar plot so this is our polar plot <laughs> this is our imaginary axis this is our real axis so 0 and 360 is here after that here is 90 or minus 270 degree here is 180 degree or minus 180 degree here is 270 degree or minus 90 degree since from this observation from this table we can observe that the phase angle starts from omega equals to 0 at 0 and and adds minus 180 degree so it can lie in the this quadrant that is third and fourth quadrant so the polar plot will lie in the third and fourth quadrant on the basis of this angle since all the angles are negative after this at omega equals to 0 its magnitude is 25 so we can say that if the 25 is here then our polar plot will originate from the 25 only and later on at omega equals to infinite its value will become zero so our polar plot will terminate at origin only now let's plot all these angle onto this graph <coughs> so this is zero minus 17.02 will be here minus 40 will be here minus 71 will be somewhere here minus 146 will be here and minus 180 is here only let's plot the magnitude so at omega equals to 0 the magnitude is 25 At omega equals to zero point two, the magnitude is twenty four point three nine. That will be here only. At omega equals to zero point five, magnitude becomes twenty one point six nine. So twenty one point six nine will be here. <coughs> At omega equals to one, its magnitude becomes fifteen point eight one. So its magnitude will become. Fifteen point eight one. After this, at omega equals to five, its value will become one point eight two. So, at minus one forty six, its value will become this. After this, finally, its value will become zero only. So, let's draw a curve, and the curve will be similar to this. touching all the points since this polar plot originates from magnitude equals 25 at omega equals to 0 plus and it goes to the origin at omega equals to infinite 
so this is our complete plot it is in this direction that is clockwise direction <laughs> since we know that the polar Nyquist plot is nothing but a mirror image of a polar plot so we can easily draw a Nyquist plot on the basis of this polar plot so the Nyquist plot will be here and the Nyquist plot is always be drawn by the help of dashed lines and it goes in this direction the direction followed by the polar plot will be similar to the direction followed by Nyquist plot that is in this question it is following a clockwise route and since it is terminating here so the point at which the Nyquist plot terminates is known as omega equals to 0 minus since omega equals to 0 plus and omega equals to 0 minus are both touching at the magnitude equals to 25 that's why it is a perfect plot after this we have to check that whether our system is stable or not since minus 1 plus j0 point will be somewhere here and we can easily say that our polar plot or the Nyquist plot doesn't cover this point so we can say that the value of n is equals to 0 only since the number of encirclement of this minus 1 plus j0 point is none that's why the value of n is 0 here let's find out the value of p so value of p is nothing but number of positive poles that lies in the right hand side on observing the open loop transfer function we can say that one of our, one of our pole lies at s equals to minus 1 on equating s plus 1 equals to 0 we get our first pole at minus 1 and on equating s plus 2 at 0 we get our second pole at minus 2 so both poles lies in the left hand side of s plane that is in this direction since p value is nothing but a number of poles that lies in the right hand side and no pole lies in the right hand side that's why p value is also become 0 now let's calculate the value of z since n equals to p minus z is a relation since n value is 0 p value is also 0 so the z value will also become 0 only so this is the z value this is the p value on the basis of uh, value of p and the z if both the value of p and the z will become 0 then we can say that our system is a stable system so this system is stable since value of p is 0 and value of z is also 0 thank you